Hello everyone, welcome to another video, and today I am doing my DK build video for the new current patch. I honestly forgot what the patch is, but we don't doesn't really matter about that, who cares. Uh, it'll probably be in the title of the video anyway, so let's just get into the, the video and get into the build, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is what I've been running for the past, uh, like... Uh, past week or so I did before the patch came out my back bar set I, I have used wretched um, before because I just I like the hybrid DK and I was just using it before the new patch came out but since the new patch is out um, I'm using Titanborn front bar and then back bar I'm using rally cry or rally and cry whatever you call it I was using wretched vitality you see guys still can if you want to kind of up to you. If you guys don't like this, you can go with Wretched Vitality. Um, you can go with Balorg, Magma, or Bloodspawn. I might try Bloodspawn out here very soon, uh, just to test it. I still feel like Magma is better than Bloodspawn, but some people say it's not, and other people say it is. So it's kind of just an opinion-based thing. So I guess you just see how you guys like it, whatever you guys like the best. I think Balorg's like best for dueling. Um, well, I mean, it's even good for overall as well, because you can like save up for like a 300 leap, 500 leap, hit like 14k leaps on people, and then like 12, 13k whips. It's just disgusting. It, and if you save to 500, you can hit way harder than that. That was only with 300 ult. Um, and then I got, we're using two heavy on the sh heavy, uh, arm on the shoulders and a helmet. And then heavy on the legs, we have one medium, so we have three heavy, uh, three medium, and one light. Uh, Rally may cry, Rally may cry. You can also swap out the ring from Malakath Band, or if you want, you can also use Bloodthirsty. Bloodthirsty is still really good, either one works. Uh, the reason why we have Rally and Cry and Back Bar and one on body is because Rally and Cry is uh, a light armor set. And what it does is whenever you heal yourself while you have Battle Spirit, and uh, well, Battle Spirit's whenever you're in PvP, and whenever it's active, uh, well, whenever you heal yourself in PvP, you get a critical heal, you get 1650 crit resistance and 300 weapon damage and spell damage. But if you have someone in your group, each person in your group reduces the spell damage and weapon damage by 15 damage and then the critical resistance by 83. Um, but this can this can occur every 15 seconds. It lasts 20 seconds on you, so it's not too bad. Um, it's it's pretty decent. I like it a lot. Um, especially if you, sometimes I do swap to wretched if I don't feel like I have enough recovery. But uh, since I've been using the uh, smoke bear hunch, I felt like my recovery is really really good. Now the stats are really nice. This is just with a rally buff by the way, and this is not including um, Titanborn. Titanborn does not show up on your stat sheet. It will only increase the damage and your penetration and your healing while you're at low health. Now, it will just, like I said, if you get low health and look at your stats, it will not show up on here. It will only show up on your tooltips. Um, it used to show up on there, for some reason it doesn't anymore, but yeah. Let's go to uh, the skills. Now you can use shattering. I use shattering rocks for the heal. You can either use fossilize if you really want to. Come up to you. Knock his breath. Rally. Molten whip. Burning embers. If you guys want to use, I'm testing out ferocious right now. Um, I've been hitting people actually harder with ferocious, ferocious leap for some reason. If you guys want to use take flight, you can and keep testing that. Go right ahead. And, you know, more power to you. Uh, the shield's not too bad. It's pretty nice when you're outnumbered. Uh, they got their corrosive armor on back bar, of course. If you want, you could use shifting standard or healing alt kind of up to you, but Corrosive is just too good to not use. Resolving Vigor, Rapid Regen, Volta Armor, Race Against Time, and Quagling Blood. You can, if you want to, you can also use a lot of Deep Breath here, but I really like Quag Blood because it, sometimes Rally doesn't go off. Oh no, sometimes Rally has like, you know, the, uh, the 20 second timer before it can actually give a good heal, and this one can like heal you for like 20k, uh, so it's really nice to have on there. I really enjoyed this skill. Um, if you really guys really want to, you can take off Rapid Regen and put on Flames of Oblivion, or like, or if you want to, put it for Deep Breath, or Burning Embers, anything you re oh, I mean, uh, Burning Talons, I mean. Cinderstorm, uh, if you're, if you're dueling, you want to rock Cinderstorm right here, and then just stand in at the entire time, you'll have a crazy amount of healing, uh, you'll have Rapid Regen, Vigor, Cinderstorm, Rally, 
Shattering Rocks, Mol uh, Burning Embers, and Quag all at the same time. But this is also now an overtime heal, so this, this, and this, and this will be stacking on top of each other. So you'll have crazy, crazy healing um, while just standing still. Now, like, that's if you want to duel with it. Dueling works on this build pretty well. Um, CP, I'll go ahead and you know, put my CP out there for you guys. A little bit different in this patch is I run one extra healing buff, because, I mean, he doesn't want to overheal. Uh, Biting Aura, Master at Arms, Thaumaturge, no one gives a fuck about resistance this patch, you really just don't need it. So just go full damage in your CP on the blue. If you don't go full damage and you're just, you, you need to, <laughs> there's just no reason to go reduce damage in anything. There's just, there's just no point. Um, Relentlessness, Pain's Refuge, Stay My Suffering, and Balance Vitality. You can honestly do the red CP however you want, but I just like these for the more recovery and the reduced damage. Because basically, that's all you need for reduced damage. There's not much CP in here that can help you with damage-wise. Not not much. So just use those. If you, if you don't, if you have too much health, you can swap to more armor. Which I in, the, in my case, I probably will just move these points over so I can have both. I want to swap between them because um, I have like 33k health in PvP. I think. I think. I can't remember. Um, I I might have had an imp buff at the time. I I I one oh thirty one k. So yeah, so at the time I did have imp buff for more HP, but I still have thirty one k health. If you take that away, you'll have uh, like what twenty nine k or something. Yeah, twenty nine point seven. So you can even do that and get the more resistance if you really wanted to. And then if you wanted to use magma or Balorg, I mean magma or blood swap from a resistance if you feel like, if you feel like you need more resistance. Now, so I went over the skills, the CP points, the armor, um, this is what, my poisons, I don't know the recipe for this, my friend makes it for me, um, but they're really strong, does poison damage and heals you over time. Uh, the orc, uh, bear hunch food, I use tripods, people that cloak, I use in essence of de detection, and more tripods. Um, so yeah, that's basically the build. Oh yeah, front bar and chain, I use weapon damage, just cause, I mean, you can literally use anything you want here, but I like the extra damage and healing from having it. Um, and even if you're like a mag DK, you still want to run a weapon damage enchant, cause you, you definitely do not want spell damage. Spell damage does not scale as higher, or as high as weapon damage does, so just saying. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I don't think I missed anything, it's been a while since I've done a build video. But I'm going to go ahead and get this out to you guys because I know a few people have been asking me what I've been using. And I will, I will show you what I've been using. So, yeah, here you guys go. Thank you another, thanks for tuning into the video. Hope you did enjoy. Peace out.